uh, or some something I'm really really intrigued about. Uh, one of them is um, about social media. So I recently. Um, took a break from social media when my son was born about six months ago. Oh. And I took like a five month break. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And uh, I, I saw so much value in taking a break that now six months later, I've decided to have like a second version of it. Um, and so as of like two days ago, I decided to again, take a, take a break from my Instagram page. Um, have you ever done that or thought about doing that considering you have such kind of like a high level of um, f such a high following and stuff? Have you ever considered just escaping, leaving the room for a second? Uh, no, I, ha I haven't really. I, I don't know what would prompt a person to get to that point. So like, why, why did you decide to do it? And like, why was, it, why was it helpful for you? Because I know like, so, so many people do this whole, I'm going off social media to realign my chakras thing, but I've never really understood why, like what's, well, well, what's the I'll, point as it were? I'll bounce a question back to you and I will answer that, yeah. but I'll bounce a question back to you and I'll say, if you haven't, that means that you probably have a really good balance of your life, right? Like of your emotions, of your life. And being that you're also a doctor, you're also a, uh, pretty much full-time content creator at the same time how are you able to then get that balance then that you're not um that you're not trying to just kind of remove things that way because uh, social media is like a room where you just have thousands of people coming at you at all at all times and a person who isn't balanced can't always handle that and so how do you achieve that balance where, where you don't con make that decision or you don't consider that i don't know i think uh, i think maybe my position on this is different to kind of normal people in that like my business is social media. And so when you say kind of getting off social media, like social media to me doesn't like, it's a kind of a meaningless word because for me, social media is just media. It is the internet. It is like everything, everything online. So t taking a break from social media, what does that mean? Does that mean I won't release YouTube videos? Probably not. Does it mean I won't go on Twitter? I've only recently started to go on Twitter, Instagram. It's just kind of fun posting pictures on Instagram. So like, the, I feel like the way that I use social media is I I suppose I recognize that it's very much a one-to-many type relationship in that I will, I'll, I'll get kind of about 50 DMs a day, you know, hashtag flex, and I won't reply to any of them because they just appear in the request tab and I won't even see them unless I'm like sitting on the toilet or something and I actively want to waste time. So I'll just kind of browse through the request and be like, oh, that person's cool. I know this person. <laughs> Let me like accept their request and, and reply to it. But otherwise, these sort of like thousands of Instagram DMs just go like are not even seen so it's like that side of social media where it's sort of you're, you people are coming in at you from all directions i think the platforms do a pretty good job of just kind of hiding it away uh equally for youtube comments um i don't spend most of my day reading comments but one you know every now and then when i actively want to procrastinate i'll open the youtube app be like oh you know let's, let's reply to a few comments and even then, I kind of make it a point that I will read every single comment and I always give it a little thumbs up so I can see for myself that I've read the comment and I just kind of make sure I'm up to date on the comments. But all that stuff just sort of happens in the little bits of time that we all have here and there, like, you know, two minutes in the toilet because, you know, I'm going to sit down to take a wee and get my phone out. And then, you know, comment, 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 Instagram DM request done. Like, I don't know what I, I can't imagine getting to a point where I feel like, oh, my God, I need to take a break from from Twitter uh, or things like that. I, I think for me, the angle it came from is, so I agree with you on those points, but I think the angle it came from is, um, I, am I opening my phone up where in, in times where I shouldn't be and finding myself scrolling for 20 minutes at a time and not giving, not being like fully present in, in situations where I can, for example, spend time with my son, spend time with my family. And yeah. when, when I start seeing those build up, I see the problem being the scrolling. And if I can't control it, to, to remove it, which is a very extreme viewpoint to have. But I suppose for my personality, I think that that, that I have to police myself in such extreme ways. Um, I, I mentioned a few times before that I have a very addictive personality and mm. um, I'm quite I'm quite content with the fact that right now my only addiction is coffee. And if that's my <laughs> only addiction, I'm happy to have that because Th it, that's it a pretty good advice to have. Right. So so I, I suppose it, it, it must mean that you don't have addictive personality or that you're great at controlling yourself. You don't you don't uh, spend out like half an hour at a time scrolling. Is that because you just don't have the time to it or, or do you just mentally police yourself? Oh, no, I do spend half an hour at a time scrolling. Um, but w while I'm doing it, I fully recognize that uh, this is what I want to be doing right now. Fine. Um, if I have a deadline to work to or something, then sure i i won't scroll because at that point uh the punishment of not meeting that of not meeting that deadline would be too great like you know but that's the control though how do you get that control how do you tell yourself that at that time uh i think so um 
Tim Urban from Wait But Why has a, a, a very good te- te- TED talk about this. Uh, I don't know if you've come across it. It's called Inside the Mind of a Master Procrastinator. Um, and the the analogy that, that he uses is that we all sort of we have within our brains, we have kind of the rational actor that's sort of being rational and doing the things it wants to do. Then we have the instant gratification monkey that is trying to sort of deviate us off course and kind of take the take the wheels of the ship and start doing instant gratification things like scrolling through Instagram for a long time. But then very occasionally we have the panic monster and the panic monster comes along when we have a deadline. So like all of us with that panic monster, like if tomorrow you had to, I don't know, do something where there was a genuine deadline to it, you, I'm sure you wouldn't waste time scrolling Instagram because the panic, the, the, your instant gratification monkey is afraid of the panic monster. Um, and so for me, if I, if I have a genuine deadline, then panic monster comes out and it's, and it's fine. But I think, for me, I'm at the point now where I don't really have hard deadlines. And we, and this is partly why with me and my team, we try planning out our videos sort of enough in advance that on any given day, I don't have anything that I absolutely have to do. Like today, I've got a day of work. I'm, I'm off tomorrow and the day after as well, just for annual leave. And I've set this sort of soft deadline for myself that I want to film these five videos today. So I've got the setup ready overnight. Um, but if I do end up well. scrolling for half an hour today, then it's it's no big deal. I know I've got tomorrow and the day after. If it got to like Sunday and we had to release a video on Tuesday and I, w- I had work on Monday, then it would be a case of, OK, I need to control myself. I need to not scroll Instagram. But I'm I'm quite happy with being a waste man occasionally because uh, in general, I, can, I, I get stuff done.